time I made a video on the Redmi Note 3, it was the Xenon HD ROM that I checked out. But I got a lot of comments on that video that perhaps Xenon HD was not the best ROM that you can get for the Redmi Note 3 and it was the Nitrogen OS by far, as far as the comments read. So I installed that ROM and boy, that ROM ins impressed me guys. And if you are wondering and if you are new to this channel and if you are wondering that what all features the Nitrogen OS offers, how is it better than Resurrection Remakes and how is it better than MIUI? If all these questions are coming to your mind then stay tuned, keep watching this video and I'm Jyoti to hear from Freaks and Geeks and let's look at how to install Nitrogen OS with VoLTE and what all features that is offers you and how fluid in terms of performance it is on this video. Let's get started. So guys as you might be already knowing that links for everything will be given in the description box below so go ahead first to the description box download the ROM the CM14 firmware, the VoLTE patch zip and the OpenG apps and store them on your internal storage or your micro SD card whichever you prefer. So if you're running MIUI do ensure that your device has the unlocked bootloader and you also have a TWRP recovery installed on your device. After you have ensured all of the things that I told, go ahead power off your device and press the volume up button and the power button together. So what this will do is that this will boot your device into TWRP recovery. So for flashing nitrogen project ROM, there is a peculiar way. So first you need to go to wipe and you need to select advanced wipe and from there select Dalvik, system, data and cache and just swipe to wipe. So this will wipe out everything from your device. So back up everything that you need, any important stuff, back it up first. Okay. So then just go back and hit install. And from install select wherever you have stored your downloaded ROM. So in my case it's in the root folder in micro SD card. So as you can see root folder. So from root folder first select the CM14 firmware. Add more zips. Nitrogen OS. Add more zips. Open GApps 7.1 Pico. And add more zips. We go to the VoLTE version 3 21.117 zip patch file. So that's about it because these were the things that were essential for getting the VoLTE like the CM14 firmware and the VoLTE patch zip. So you need to flash these things. Do keep in mind that if you want VoLTE though after 31st March, I don't know how many of you guys have applied for Geo Prime, but still if you want VoLTE then you need to flash this. Then swipe to confirm flash. So after you are done with this, just go ahead, hit reboot and hit system. So what this will do is that this will boot your device into the project nitrogen rom so yeah i'll not talk much and i'll meet you after the boot okay so as you can see we have successfully booted into nitrogen os rom and uh, let me just show you that here we can see the vold icon is there and one of the best things about this rom uh, about this rom is that you don't have that shitty device is hd capable logo on your status bar yeah um, the thing with the VoLTE is that it directly gives you the VoLTE sign over here and it does not give you the device is HD capable logo out here so as you can see there is no device is HD capable so no persistent notifications that's one of the best things that I found with this ROM so first let me adjust the brightness a bit and guys if you are wondering that I have applied a theme on it so it looks a bit different so if you are installing this ROM for the first time, don't expect your toggles to look like this. I am just clearing this out, otherwise people will have high expectations from this ROM. Uh, so yeah, it, this ROM is actually good, but um, the toggles overlay does not look like this. Okay, the first thing, let's go into settings. From settings, let's look into about phone and let's see what patch do we have. So about phone, so as you can see Nitrogen OS by Nitrogen Project, model Redmi Note 3, Android version 7.1.1. Android security patch level we have the March 5th the latest Android security patch and that is pretty decent because I installed this ROM a few days ago so I have been using this ROM for a week now and I think it's time for my review so let's go to personalization and let's see what all options we have over here so we have status bar customization so let's see we have status bar items basically it's like a system UI tuner where you can control each and every icon which will show up on your status bar and what else we have clock and date settings uh, these kind of options we have in resurrection remix as well so let's just see we have battery customizations as well so battery cycle one thing that disappointed me was that we don't really have the battery bar so i really find the battery bar quite useful but it has been not given here so we really cannot help that thing because 
the type of performance this ROM offers. It has been pretty good and it has been performing pretty decently over the past few days that I have been using this farm. Network traffic, as you can see, we can show network traffic and I am currently showing it here. And Vo LTE is working, that is my network is on Geo 4G, but I have not applied for Prime. I don't really consider it uh, worthy enough. Right? Okay, so we have brightness control and select the notifications and Bluetooth device battery and that's a pretty neat feature. Let's go into quick settings quickly. So let's see, we have quick pull down, we have smart pull down, we have no quick settings when secured. So basically that thing is that no quick settings will be shown on the lock screen unless you unlock the device. I think that's pretty stupid for them to include this thing. Advanced data tile, enable one tap to enable or disable data. I don't know why people still keep this option. We have buttons. So... So we can see that we have volume rocker customizations as you can see a lot of customizations regarding the volume rockers have been given volume key answer volume cursor control volume rocker wake playback control swap volume rocker orientation we do not need so many things okay so and the basic options for that of the hardware keys have also been provided so as you can see double tap action let me just adjust the brightness a bit uh, yeah that's pretty good so as you can see single tap action long press to google now double tap action single tap and lot of stuff for the home back and the menu buttons have also been provided i think that's pretty neat of nitrogen os they are trying very very hard to compete with other resurrection remix i believe but uh, i don't know how much successful they will be because the type of customization resurrection remix offers i don't think they really can offer those so gestures we have aosp gestures as you can see the double tap the power button to jump to camera that feature is almost present in every ROM these days. So don't don't uh, uh, don't understand that I am bitching about this ROM because I'm not. I'm pretty happy with this ROM. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me to check this uh, check this ROM out, and I have been doing the same for the last week. And yeah, I have been pretty impressed with this ROM. The performance, the fluidity, yeah, it's good, but it's not like. It's, I think something is missing, guys. So let's see lock screen customizations as you can see lock screen shortcuts have also been provided where we can control the shortcuts that appear okay so we have weather we have lock screen font we have lock screen torch let me just show you that the flashlight bug has been solved finally so it just works with one tap as you can see it just works uh, there is no bug in here anymore the flashlight bug has been successfully fully solved so that makes me very happy guys okay so let's quickly head into settings and let's see what else do we have we are in personalizations power menu options as you can see reboot screenshot flashlight and we can add the different options that are available in our power menu pretty neat uh, we have recent apps that is basically you can control the how the recent app overlay looks like that's pretty nice as you can see clear all location we have show memory bar use re slim recents basically it's nothing but uh, it's basically this thing uh, it will show you the app from the side uh, I was using this for the past uh, uh, about one day when I first installed the ROM I did not find it very stable so I don't think that you guys should really be interesting in you interested in using this thing so you should be using the normal status that has been provided by Android 7.1 Nuga oh yeah I said Nuga so notification options we have seen uh, heads up notifications battery light you can control the notification LED that lights up whenever you get a notification that's uh, uh, yeah it's uh, like a uh, very small customization I would say but it looks nice basically so you can change the notification LED to orange whenever it's charging that I have done that's a miscellaneous customizations we have clock widget we have wake lock blocker we have alarm blocker we have suspend actions my goodness so much blockers so I allow signature spooking spoofing what's that wake up on charge MTB instead of charging I think this is a nice feature MTB in the, instead of charging that's pretty good let's quickly go back and let's see what else do we have okay so we have app op what's that app ops we have app permissions directly from settings that's nice we have display options uh, as you know that very less things have been given okay so that's about it from here so let's let's see that if VoLTE works or not let's quickly go to the phone dialer and let's see let's call the number and so as you can see VoLD is working and one of the things that disappointed me about this ROM that though it's a very stable ROM and it's a very pretty good ROM and Google camera also works in this ROM that's not the case but as you can see the icons are not pixeled so I don't know how you can make this icon to look like the Google pixel 
so yeah that's one of the major issues but 3d touch is working that's a good feature so yeah that's pretty much it from here and once again see you in my outro so as you saw the video what do you think that do you think the nitrogen os truly is a good rom for the redmi note 3 i think it is because it offers a lot of customization options just like resurrection remix does and it's more stable than resurrection remix so if this video was helpful to you do give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want more such videos on the redmi note 3 the mi 5 the uu euphoria until next time i am building a page on freaks and geeks so check me out over here uh, if you want to follow me on instagram here and if you want to follow me on twitter do that guys please here the link will be here and it will be also given in the description box below until next time stay a freak and stay a geek Peace.